in this video we shall continue preparing our wine. It's about one week since we closed Telit here and because I haven't been hearing any sound from the water block it's very likely that our wine is ready for the next step. What we are going to do now is we remove the water lock carefully like this and carefully open the lid. It's red wine so you wish to be wish to be very careful here. The lid is now removed and it's time to repeat the sugar, sugar concentration measurement that we have already taken once. So we take the meter again and just put it in the wine. Situation, the situation definitely has changed. It almost sank completely, so there's most definitely not much sugar left here anymore. Our new reading is... It's minus 10. It means that the yeast has burned pretty much all 8 kilos of sugar. Put it back to the box. At this stage we, we should also taste the wine, but because there was no sugar, I'm not gonna do, do that just yet. It's not yet as fine as we want it to be. Next thing to do is to stop the yeast. And we do that by applying a stopper. You can find it from your wine box. Here it is, a small bag and we need to mix it to a glass of hot water. We also want to remove the bag of berries from the barrel. We just let it drip for a moment. And finally put it into the bucket. That's all done and finally we just stir this stopper a little bit and then slowly pour it to the wine. This phase is now pretty much done. We will have to wait two to three days for the stopper to actually stop the yeast. So we'll just close the lid for now. Remember to secure it carefully. And also it's necessary to still put in this water block because in case the yeast still produces carbon dioxide and water, we do not want air to mix with it because that's gonna lead into producing vinegar and we do not want a single bit of vinegar in our wine. That's all for now, we shall wait a couple of days and then continue.